All right, back to Revelation. So, we have now got another tomb to do, I believe, because I think this is the last one, actually. Oh, it's the last one. Someone did ask me, can you do the Vlad the Impaler uh, tomb? Because apparently I did it in my other Revelations Let's Play, and I mean, I might as well do it, because the tombs are a good time. So I think we'll head over there and do that now. I believe it's this Templar symbol on the map is the Vlad the Impaler one, I think. Uh, if it's not, I'll be uh, shocked. But I'm pretty sure that it is. Um, and we'll do that. Like, just gives you a sword at the end, which is nice. It's a fun little good time. But then we'll head on, do the other tomb, uh, which I believe is the water one. We have to, like, weigh the water and shit. It's like in a lighthouse. Um, which will give us uh, the fourth Altair's key. Then we will head to Cappadocia to recover the last one. Um, and it'll be a good time. It'll be a good time. Uh, but for now, here we go. Super close now. Head over to the Vlad the Impaler tomb. Ooh, that's a nice catch. Right, let's drop down over here now. Alright. In we go. For some reason it's in Sophia's thing. I don't... Okay, it's over here. Right? No? Maybe? Where am I looking? Oh, hello. Oh, it was a... Okay. It was a book. I get it now. I get it. Alright. So what we're going to do now is we're going to locate the tomb. So I guess it's somewhere on the map. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Is it, on this? Is it in this area? No, uh, it doesn't look like it. What's that though? Books. I thought it might be one of those. Um... Ah, there, boy. Although we do kind of want to go over here because that's a way, a way away. Let's go. Let's find a fast travel thing. There's one right here. And then we'll fast travel over to the edge of the map. Oh, no, there's one right here. Dude, we were sitting on one. Sweet. I didn't realize. Okay, so that's the... Uh, I wish I knew what these names meant. They're also not even in order of, like, where they are either, so... Oh, it must be one of the ones I skipped. Oh, it's that one. All right, sweet. <clears throat> and we'll get this sword, the Vlad the Impaler sword. It's a nice sword. It's pretty, pretty good. I quite like it. Um, but yeah, once we got the sword, we'll continue with all the Altair shit, which should be good. Altair, Al Altair, Altair. Is it Altair? I don't know. See, someone was like, "You pronounce Altair wrong," and I'm like, "I'm sorry. I don't know. It's Arabic." Um, I don't know, Alt Altair, it's, it's just Altair, isn't it? That's just how you say his name, surely. There's an animus fragment up there, I want to go grab it. Oh, fuck, it wasn't where I thought it was, I thought it was on a building. Shit, hang on. Hey! Nice. Right. Let's go get this darn tomb. Should have sent my assassins on some missions, really. Also, apparently, someone said to get the Master Assassin armor, you don't have to do, like, a bunch of stuff. You have to just complete all of the assassin recruit missions 100% apparently i don't know how true that is because i i never thought that was what you had to do but, but, but perhaps perhaps it is perhaps i've been wrong this whole time and maybe we'll just give that a go uh, cuz i'm not sure how many we've done and how many are left i think it's that one we have to like tail the dude or something or like race him unless unless it means not the assassin recruit method means um the master assassin mission kind of things. I swear that's what it is, actually, I think. It looks so... Why is the lighting so weird in here? Like, it's so blue. Oh, God. This reminds me of the ending of Brotherhood, for some reason, where you play as Desmond. I don't know why. It also reminds me of a Romulus tomb. 
that Romulus tomb that you go to the Indian Brotherhood, actually. That's that's probably why. Feels just like it. Oh god, the light shafts are so shit. Nice. Let's continue. It looks very eerie, though. I like it. These are my favorite tombs. The ones where they're just free running. So much fun. As well, I just want to mention, um, I did say I'd be doing like a free run series for Brotherhood. I don't know whether that's still going to happen, because like, doing the kind of Let's Play videos are getting really kind of tedious. Like, not to say I don't enjoy this. Like, it's a good time, but I, I kind of want to get back to like, the content that I used to make with like, you know, wish lists and discussions and just having a good time. Uh, so, I mean... You know, I, I'm still going to do Assassin's Creed 3, but I'm not going to do two episodes a day and that's it. I'm going to do one episode a day, like I did with the AC1+, plus another piece of content as well. Which is just better. It's more fun, and it's more diverse, and it's varied, so I like it more. Um, because I think playing three games in one go and not doing anything else on the channel but play the games is kind of getting a bit... It's getting a bit boring, um, honestly. But, you know, three will still be a good time. And it gives me a chance to do other content as well, but I kind of just want to do as much Ezio collection as I can so it's done. And then the entire Let's Play is up on my channel. Anyone can watch it. It's a good time. Uh, but, um, yeah, in terms of Assassin's Creed stuff, three, I'm going to still be doing that, but that'll be one episode a day. And then, you know, oh, God, the light shots. Fuck me, they're ugly as shit. Um, and then, yeah. So that's what we'll do. And we'll get back to normal content. It'll be a good time. Because I miss doing the normal stuff, like just doing like a, you know, a commentary, talking about something in the game, giving my opinion, talking about, I don't know, doing like fun videos as well, where I used to, like, I'll, I'll get a topic in Assassin's Creed and I'll just make fun, I'll just do something fun with it. It's just, I miss that kind of stuff. Ah, where am I going? Hold on. Hold on, that way. Alright, let's go across here. How are we going up? God, this is the AC1 music. This is what's. It's that Aker music. The fuck is that playing for? Okay, let's hop across here. Oh my god! Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Fuck! I thought we were gonna die. Okay, let's keep going. Cross we go. Oh, okay. That was silly. Um. Going. I think we're almost there. Yeah, we did it. The Vlad the Impaler Sword. Nice. Times one what? We did it, and we did the full sync. Wow, I'm proud of us. That's good. That's good. All right. Well, with that done, it's now time to uh, get on with the main quest of Ezio's journey and try and obtain ourselves that next Masyaf key, uh, which would be incredibly useful. Oh, Vlad the Impaler Sword looks fucking awesome. Look how sick that is. I love like the hill and like that. Like look at like oh that looks really nice. Imagine thrusting that into someone. That'd be a good time. Alright. We're in a fucking den territory. D am I the only one that thinks Revelations looks fucking weird as shit at night? Like, why is it so, like, contrasted? Like, why does it look so... Nah, it's not contrasted. It's, it's, like, unsaturated. Like, everything's really, really weirdly black and white. It's like they've... 
turned down the saturation and whacked up the contrast. That's what it looks like. Alright, let's hold up. Let's use fast travel. Yeah, he's down there at the bottom. Yeah, we'll go to... Southport, there we go. Sweet. Fast travel is so useful. Gotta love a bit of fast travel. There's some games, though, where fast travel is just not... I just don't like using it. And I hope the... Um, Assassin's Creed Empire is like that. In the sense that there's so much to do that you don't want to fast travel because you don't want to miss things. Because, like, in games like Skyrim, especially, and... Oh, God, hold up. In games like, yeah, in games like Skyrim and, like, The Witcher 3, I just don't want to fast travel because... There's so much that you'll miss if you fast travel. Like, so many quests and opportunities and collectibles. Like, just so much shit. And it's like... Look. Make Empire like that. Make me... Not want to fast travel. Make me just want to just ride everywhere on my horse or whatever. Because... There's just so much to do. Like, I was playing The Witcher 3 last night and I just found so much shit. Like, you'll be doing... I'll be doing a quest... And then I'll come across something. I'm like, oh shit, I better do this quest. And while I'm doing that quest, I'll come across something else. And then I'll start doing that quest. And I just, before I know it, I've got like 60 quests in my quest log. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> and then I have to do all of those. And it's just a good time. And then I spent like, legit spent about six, seven hours just trying to get this Grandmaster armor. Which meant I had to get the normal armor. Then I had to get the next level armor. It takes like crafting. You have to get the amount, right amount of money you need by doing like Witcher contracts. You can get money. Plus, you have to get the right like things you want to craft with. Plus, you have to collect like the... Um, the diagrams that you use to craft, because obviously you don't know how to craft until you have the crafting recipe, and you just have to keep doing that, going around, exploring, finding all this shit, going through dungeons, and eventually, after seven hours, I got the master crafted woven armor. I still don't have the grandmaster woven armor, all I need is the chess piece, but it's taken me so long, but it feels so rewarding. Ah, oh, it's so good. Fucking love The Witcher. If you haven't played The Witcher 3, I'd, I'd suggest definitely giving it a go, because it's so good. It's so there's so much to do. Like I've like it came out nearly two years ago, and I still am still playing it because there's just so much shit in it. It's so good, <laughs> amazing. And as well as like the same thing with Skyrim. If you never played Skyrim, I'd say play that. But I think if you're an Assassin's Creed fan and you're not really super into RPGs, then I would say The Witcher would be way easier to get into because you know it's third person. You know it's not as it's not as different. I think to what people might be used to as Skyrim is, but Skyrim's fantastic. Okay, let's let's do this. Signs and symbols number three. All right, so it's that one, right? There we go. All right, let's get the fuck over there. Get this final book. Oh shit. How did you not see me? What the heck was that about? Stealth system is fucking broken. Alright, let's go. Hmm. Trying to work out how to get up there. I think maybe here. Most entertaining. There we go. Alright, let's go grab this book. Shit. Nice. That music's great. Alright, let's do it. Wah, wah, wah. I love it. Is that the Sophia music? Yeah, it is. That's what it's... I'm pretty sure that's just Sophia's theme. I love it. Oh, it's such a good piece of music! Fuck! Assassin's Creed used to have amazing music, and now it's just kind of unmemorable, but... Oh, no, I'm in a fucking den area. Let's get the fuck out of here. No, I'm sorry! Fuck. Oh, God, I fucked up. 
Okay, hold the fuck up a minute. Oh, shit! What are you, dickhead? We're getting into a battle by mistake here. Might as well finish off with Dane or something. What the fuck? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh fuck me. Oh my lord, what was that? Trying to find the captain. Let's follow his trail. There he is. Got him. Wow, both den captains. There's two den captains. I killed them both. Fuck. Lel, oh, what the fuck? I thought I was going to get him. No. Let's get this fucking den set on fire, bitch. Let's do it. This system for dens here is way smarter than in Rome. Like, what? Like, why blow up the fucking tower? It's just a bit dumb, isn't it, really? There's another assassin recruit mission. Might as well do it. Why not? Hello, can you help me? What is troubling you, amigo? There is a mad woman in this district putting curses on people with little silver coins. Curses? Well, not curses exactly, but old Byzantine coins. She is sneaking them into our pockets while our heads are turned. And I do not find it funny. Okay, let's do it. Keep your leggings on. I will have a look. Keep your leggings on. Fucking hell. Classic Ezio. It's not even classic Ezio. Shut the fuck up. Right, let's go. Get her. Silver, come here, my... Oh snap. Quite a trick you have there. Sleeping worthless coins into men's pockets. Have you ever been caught? Not once. Although I have on occasion taken money as well. But only to feed myself. Why do you not put that trick to better use? Fight with the assassins. Work for a just cause. Hmm. Well, it would be nice to be part of something larger than myself. Evet, I will fight with you. And I'll fight with your dead nan. I don't know why I said that. All right, there we go. Nice. Heretic assassins. Shut your mouth, you dickhead. We're not heretics. We are freedom fighters. God, now I sound like a fucking terrorist. Right, let's just let's just fucking stop. Let's go to the mission. And actually, let's send our assassins out to missions while we're here. Shit. It's over the other side of the building. Great. Got 30 Anos Raglans. Fucking hell. All right, let's do some Mediterranean defense here. Why did they start at level five? What the fuck?
Might as well do that. Fuck it. Right, let's go. I wonder if we're any- are we anywhere near the mission? I feel like we're not. I feel- oh wait, hold up. This is the E- no, fuck, of course it's not. I was gonna say, this is the E3 one. It's not the E3 one, because this is the fucking Sophia memory. It's not an actual quest, even though this is the main quest. It's weird. The, the Sophia memories look like not main quest objective markers, even though it's the main quest, because the main quest is to get Altair's keys. The main quest isn't to do whatever the fuck the other storyline is. That's just stuff that's happening and getting in the way of it, or getting the Masiav keys. So I don't really understand why- uh, why they're marked the way they are. We have another assassin recruit here. Might as well go do it. Ah, shit. Fuck me. Oh, yeah, it's your can. It, wait, wait. Ezio can, should be able to counter those spear guys with a sword in this game, I think. Nice. Got ourselves another fucking assassin. You are not alone, Arkadashim. Arkadashim. Let me repay your kindness with action, assassin. If you would have me, I will join your cause. Yay! There we go, there's our guy. It's gonna take us to this lighthouse. Arkadashim. What a beautiful word. It's a good word, it rolls off the tongue. I like it a lot. Arkadashim. Alright, here we are. That's beautiful. Uh, lighthouse. Let's see what the light shafts look like in this one. <laughs> Probably shit. Oh, it's so bad. Ezio's yeah, not wearing his mask now. I really wish the armor of Altair was in this game. I don't know why it's not. Find a way to access the tower's lower chambers. It's probably this glowing. Uh, I, uh, I don't know what this is actually. <laughs> Why does everything activate with a hidden blade going in it? Like, what does he even do in there? He just shoves his fucking knife in and jiggles it about a bit. Like, couldn't anyone could get in there? Like, use a fucking key or something, surely. Like, I could get a knife or something. Like, you know, just any old knife. Or like a fucking sharp rock and I could put it in, jiggle it about. There you go, I'm, I'm in the Assassin 2. I mean, I probably couldn't do this bit, so I don't know why they lock it away in the first place. But, you know. Actually, that doesn't make sense. Shut the fuck up, James. Obviously, they lock it away because someone might be able to do it. Or they can fucking blow the shit out of it. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I... Who built these as well? Was it Marco Polo? Like, who the fuck built this shit? This reminds me of that one mission from Sonic uh, Adventure 2. With knuckles, with the water. If anyone knows what I'm talking about, just let me know in the comments, because I'm pretty sure uh, at least someone, at least like one person's got to know what I'm talking about. <clears throat> All right. There we 
go. Nice. Solve the Maiden Tower's puzzle is our quest. Uh, pretty simple. Just just do what the game wants us to do, and then we're done. It's, it's, it's not really a puzzle when there's only one way you can go. Like It's more of just a get to the end of the thing. I mean, I, maybe that's just because I'm so used to it. I don't know. Let's jump back. That was right, right? Yep, yeah, okay. Oh, fuck off. Just go up here like this. I have a habit of in this game holding, whenever I go to an edge, I just hold B to like hook blade onto it. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I feel like it slows me down a lot. Get over to that one. I quite like this tomb actually. I, I like a lot of them in Revelations, really. The first one's pretty shit, but I think that uh, after that, they're really good. There we go. Let's climb around, jump through. There we go. Boom! We did it! Hey, we did it. There's another switch. This is a lot of pulling switches, to be fair. Let's go, boy. Is there any dodgy light shafts in this one? That's a that's a plus. <laughs> I love that little kick he gives it. Time to make our way to the top now. I would love to know who built these. Like, as, like all the tombs, to be fair. Like, they're so fucking intricate. Like, who put this shit together? I like the Romulus tombs. That's all Romulus. That's not even assassin shit. That's Romulus shit. Like, the followers of Romulus and whatnot. Like, what the fuck? Oh, it must be Brutus, maybe. I don't know. Might as well grab the... Fuck. Actually, no. I don't need the chests. Fuck it. Let's just get the key.
Imagine doing that. And she was dead. Alright, awesome. Now we've got to head back to the Galata Heights. And, uh... Have a little look into the fourth Altair memory. Okay, let's, let's head back. My no right is pretty high. I don't care. No no right in Revelations was just fucking weird. Everything made it go up and like I can't work out something's made it go down and then like oh, I was just annoying. Oh fuck. Why did I just get another challenge thing there? I don't understand. I got a challenge before for killing a guard with throwing knife. I don't fucking understand. Ooh, we got ourselves a beautiful. I can handle that, I think. Gets you his little tail thing. Fluttering. <laughs> Alright. Ow. There we go. Those light shafts aren't too bad. If I remember correctly, this is the one where we come back to Masyaf. Yes! It's the, oh, I love this one. They say he screams in his sleep, calling out for his father. Abbas, what a miserable man. It is not our place to judge. It certainly is. If our master has gone mad, I would like to know. Good evening. Water. Of course. Sit. Many thanks. What brings you here, old man? Pity Abbas. Do not mock him. He has lived as an orphan for most of his life, shaped by his family's legacy. He is desperate for power, because he is powerless. He is our mentor, and unlike Al-Mu'alim or Al-Tahir, he never betrayed us. Nonsense. Al-Tahir was no traitor. He was driven out, unjustly. <laughs> is it? Is it you? I heard the rumors. But I did not believe them. I wonder if I might speak to Abbas myself. It's been a long time. Impossible. Abbas uses rogue Fedayeen to keep us from the castle. Fewer than half the fighters here are true assassins. So, where do I begin? With us. Oh, it's so good. I'll tell you, it's so fucking awesome. You say that has raised his blade against an innocent. 
Alas, yes. Brutality seems to be their sole joy. Then they will die, for they have compromised the Order. But those who still live by the Creed must be spared. You can trust in us. Kill Abbas's captains without alerting any other guards. You will see. They say he fought with a hidden blade. Ah, rumors. I don't believe it. True or not? Someone you... They should have seen that coming, really. Where did I get these robes from, though? In the village? Send word to the castle, quickly. Assassins! To me! Oh, these assassins look so cool, though. Seems Shit. <laughs> Mentor. Welcome. Shh. Do not want to get him killed. He's rallying his soldiers there. Let's go get this dude. Nothing. You pathetic miser. Follow me to the castle. And spill no blood if you can help it. Altair is such a good sweet lad. You move so slowly. Maria. Altair. <sighs> Two decades have passed since we last saw you within these walls. We could use your wisdom. Now more than ever. Oh, I love it. Altair shows up and everyone's like, fuck yeah. Everyone just follows Altair because he's fucking awesome. Kill him! Kill him now! What are you waiting for? You fools! He has bewitched you! Our mentor has returned! Okay. The forcing is to only kill a bass and his captains, and I don't want to do that because I feel like that's. Oh. That's how you do it, you disarm them. I find it funny no one's even coming to help, they're just like, nah. You can do it yourself, I'll tell you. Oh my god. It's weird though, isn't it? Like they want to be, they want to be like, they want to fight me, and then as soon as I disarm, they're like, oh no, 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 mentor. It's like it just kind of seems like false loyalty there. Welcome back, mentor. Here we go. Tell your men to stand down. No. I am defending Masha. Would you not do the same? You corrupted everything we stand for and lost everything we gained. All of it sacrificed on the altar of your own spite. And you! You have wasted your life staring into that apple, dreaming of your own glory. That is true, Abbas. I learned many things from the apple. Of life and death. Of the past and the future. Let me show you. Oh, it's so awesome. He fucking uses the hidden gun.
I can never forgive you, Altair. The lies you told about my family, my father, the humiliation I suffered. They were not lies, Abbas. I was ten years old when your father came to see me. He was in tears, begging to be forgiven for betraying my family. Then he cut his own throat. I watched his life ebb away at my feet. I will never forget that image. No! But he was not a coward, Abbas. He reclaimed his honor. I hope there is another life after this one. Then... I will see him... and know the truth of his final days. And when it is your time... we will find you. And then... there will be... No doubts. Ah, oh, it's such a good sequence. Or, I suppose, memory. I am confused as to how he got these robes, because these are the mentor robes, and he didn't... When he was run out of Masyaf with Darium... He wasn't wearing this, so where do you fuck to get this from? Looks really cool though. I like the the old Altair robes from the next Altair memory. They're really cool. An old man. And still he fought to hold our brotherhood together. I would have called him stubborn in my youth, but now I can only admire his courage. The assassins were his life, from beginning to end. He had no other. True. And there we go. Now it's time to leave Constantinople and head to Cappadocia.